so in another just studio hands on uh, uh, what we missed in week 11 we'll look into it here uh, the editing of xml file so generally uh, we encounter different version of geo studio uh, like here i am using geo studio 2012 uh, 2018 18, and there are different versions which uh, people use so i'm just going to click on uh, slope w analysis uh, whatever your institute or uh, uh, course uh, section provides uh, if uh, that version differ from a uh, version which is taken earlier so what you can do is that you can just save the geoslope file as xml file and edit it according to whatever version you are encountering so this is a basic geoslope uh, file which we are creating so nothing out of ordinary a uh, simple file pwp condition based on piezometric line if we haven't uh, taken into that into consideration effective strength uh, shear strength and partial factor uh, slip surface uh, will be from left to right that's what we will decide and uh, we'll use the gradient radius method or we can use entry and exit but uh, we have seen a lot of it so we'll use gradient radius method again let's use this now uh, we'll just uh, draw the region uh, we have seen that we need to draw a 20 meter uh, a height and uh, it will go to about uh, 60 meter yeah meter uh, over that it will go about to 10 meter and uh, th there on the other side it will go to 15 meter and uh, we'll just join it here okay now what we'll do is that we'll create a new region uh, and merge this region so we'll go to 15 meter again and then here and then here so we have two regions with us now what we'll do is that uh, we'll merge this region and uh, that's done so this is the basic region uh, what we want to do is we'll go to modify objects uh, select all of it and move it a bit because this is the origin we want it to be up ahead of the origin now this is the basic uh, slope uh, and uh, what we want to do is we'll go to define materials we'll uh, assume uh, basic uh, c5 material and uh, we'll call it more column unit weight will be as we have seen earlier 18 will be good enough a cohesion of a small cohesion of 5 kilopascal and a phi of 30 degree can be considered so that's what we'll be using uh, this values will be using and uh, now we'll close this bar and uh, uh, what we'll do is that uh, we'll draw material into this uh, what material we have defined now uh, what you want to do is that you want to put some reinforcement let's uh, run this uh, analysis because uh, we have used a uh, uh, gradient radius so let's just draw the gradient radius first so uh, a grid of uh, 10 by 10 so this similar grid will be which you should be using for the actual project which has been provided to you this similar grid should be used a 10 by 10 grid uh, standard grid uh, will be used for the final calculation of factor of safety and the radius will be again 10 uh, division so that's how this no, uh, if you want to rotate it you can rotate it but i generally go with the uh, parallel to slope uh, parallel to slope radius uh, that way it will be a better estimation so let's just run this analysis okay we have to save it uh, uh, we'll uh, save it to some folder called zoom we'll call it test 4 and we have saved it now there are two error but uh, which one is a uh, piezometric analysis so uh, we have to define the pore water pressure so we have to add a piezometric line and uh, uh, at the, this specific metal we'll just draw this so in uh, example problem maybe you want to draw a piezometric line so you can just go up to you can see that height of 10 meter is there so you can go up to coordinate of uh, sorry coordinate of 29 is there so now you can go up to coordinate 27 so 2 meter depth uh, deep uh, piezometric line and uh, like that you can just uh, go ahead like it and close this and uh, sorry and you can click on this so this is this blue line is your piezometric line this is just a dummy line uh, i haven't have anything in my mind so i just come up with a general uh, uh, water flowing uh, at a, in, in a slope so this is a piezometric line now we have to define the seismic loads uh, which are 0 0.15 and uh, 0 0.1 which is uh, the value taken normally in the northeastern part of india uh, for uh, any general construction now we'll run this analysis uh, so let's see yeah so the factor safety here uh, comes out to be 1.154 uh, 
and it's very less. Uh, we want at least 1.4 for any temporary con construction and 1.5 for permanent ones. So 1.54 is very small. So we'll just go to definition again and uh, we'll draw reinforcement load. So we'll zoom in and uh, from here uh, we'll uh, put an anchor of uh, length of about 15. Uh, 15 is quite quite a long anchor and at an angle of uh, 45. I guess that's the angle that should be approximated. And the uh, uh, strength will be will keep 500 kilopascal. Uh, pull out and uh, thousand in tension and similarly shear will be uh, 0 0.5 uh, of tension so 500 kilonewton again and the bond length will be 10 meter or uh, what we should keep is uh, as a 8 meter because half of the length should be bond meter it's in general sense uh, general construction practice and the anchor spacing we should generally keep 2 meter which is uh, between 1.5 and 2.5 meter which we have seen previously in our uh, 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 mathematical problems. So one anchor should not be enough. So let's uh, draw uh, several anchors like this configuration and uh, provide the length of 15 and, uh, and an angle of 45. Yeah, like that, uh, I'm just going to draw five anchors. So 15, 45, yeah. So for right now, what I'm going to do is that uh, I'm going to do a 15 and 45, uh, this uh, anchor construction and again 15 and 45 and uh, I'm just going to use five anchors okay so now let's run this analysis and see what the factor 50 come out after uh, uh, creating this anchor so these anchors are very uh, good as it seems that uh, the factor 50 has been jumped from 1.154 to 2.684 directly so anyway uh, maybe uh, these anchors looks like very costly for this kind of uh, slope stabilization so maybe what we want to do is that we want to economize this kind of uh, slope stabilization. So we'll go to file and save it and then later save it as a, uh, we, we have to, uh, as a XML file. So to create an XML file of the GeoSlope, you have to create a new folder and uh, the name of the file is test4. So we'll create a folder named test4, go into this folder and save this again as a XML file. We'll save it and click on OK. So now uh, what we'll do is that we'll go to this test4 folder. Here you can see there are three files, mesh, uh, test4 and thumbnail. So uh, mesh uh, and thumbnail should not be disturbed. This, are, this is just an image and this is a thumbnail of what our file looks like. Test4 is the main XML file. We'll go to Notepad++ and click on, uh, uh, we'll edit this in the Notepad++ or whatever Notepad you have. Generally uh, standard uh, uh, Notepad document uh, uh, op uh, text opener will be good with uh, some kind of applicability which we can use for uh, some complex processes. So we'll go down and see that there are uh, uh, points, uh, different points for reinforcement, I guess, and different points for geometry and different uh, uh, col color entries for color and different, you know, uh, different color for different things. But what we want to do is that we want to go to the actual reinforcement definition. We'll keep on going down and we, when we see this long lines about the reinforcements, uh, let, let me just see where it, they are, yeah, uh, there are only five reinforcements, so here they are, reinforcement, so you can just come here and uh, you can uh, edit this uh, reinforcements, so let's say you want to uh, uh, increase or uh, increase the capacity or increase the spacing, so uh, what you have to do is that uh, you have to just select this spacing is equal to 2. Uh, find and replace so you can uh, count the number if it, the number counts up to equal to 5 so you can see the 5 there are 5 matches in entire file so basically you can just replace this control c control v and uh, you can you might want to increase the spacing to 2.5 okay so i am just doing that because uh, our factor of safety is coming out very high so i was i just want to increase the spacing so that the factor of safety can be a slightly lower and with this increased spacing our project uh, cost will go down slightly bit and uh, that's what you will be uh, encountering in the field that you have to reduce the project cost at all times, all the times. So 2.5 uh, and uh, what might we want to uh, do extra here is that we want, we might want to reduce the bond length here to maybe let's say uh, 5 and uh, first let's uh, count them. Yeah, bond length uh, again 5 matches. So there are only 5 reinforcements and there is nothing else and we'll replace all. So uh, 
uh, if there are more than five anchors, then this kind of XML editing will be very useful. And believe me, there are generally more than five uh, reinforcements which you will encounter. Now we'll save this. And uh, that's how you can just click on editing, uh, keep on editing this. Uh, you can even change the event distribution to something like uh, uh, point, distrib uh, point loaded or something like that. So there are different methods. Uh, now what we are going to do is that we'll just come here and we'll go to file open and we'll go to this test folder, this XML document and click on open. And uh, as soon as you see here that uh, our uh, uh, bonded length is uh, very much smaller. Now what we'll do is that we'll start running this analysis and uh, as soon as it runs, it will show that the factor safety has been reduced drastically, not drastically, but slightly. And you can see that uh, you can uh, economize by editing the XML file. So that's what I wanted to show you. Now we have uh, learned the AutoCAD integration XML editing. Uh, XML editing is very helpful when you are uh, working uh, interversion, like uh, uh, you have version of, you have an older version of GeoSloop, but you want to save this file uh, uh, so that you can use it later in the uh, newer version. So you can just save it as XML file because XML generally remains constant and that's what, uh, 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 that's the thing that uh, uh, is best when you are uh, uh, jumping versions for the GeoSloop. So this is the tutorial on XML, editing of XML with the GeoSloop. So you can uh, do that in your tutorial problem, uh, in your example exam problem as well.